Hi, my name is Danny and I work at Estuary and today I'm going to show you how to stream real-time data from Postgres into Iceberg using change data capture and the Estuary flow. So let's take a look. Uh, for this demo I will be using a sales uh, database and you can see uh, here is my data generator script. It's inserting, updating and deleting records in one table called sales in a Postgres database. Uh, to show you the database, uh, this is how it looks like. The, there's a sales table and I can quickly look at the first 10 records uh, to show you what kind of fields we are working with. So it's a sale ID, product ID, customer ID and uh, all your usual fields. So I can show you how many records we currently have in the database. Uh, 6,752 and just to uh, demonstrate that we are indeed updating the table in real time if I run this query again you can see that the number is now 6,761. 6, cool. So the first step uh, in a change data capture pipeline is to start ingesting the data and uh, start tracking these changes uh, in the Postgres database. For this uh, we are going to use Estuary flow and I already have a uh, Postgres capture setup here that is uh, live and working. So if I navigate into it, you can see the details that uh, there is indeed documents being uh, captured and uh, uh, saved inside Estuary Flow in real time. If I go to the collection that the connector is being fi is filling out and scroll down, uh, we can take a look at the data preview. Uh, of uh, the records that we are ingesting. And here you can see that the fields indeed are the same as uh, in the table that I was showing you. So the next step after we are, uh, after this connector is live uh, and uh, up is to uh, materialize this collection into Iceberg. And for that, we are going to use the Iceberg materialization of Estuary Flow. And I just search for it in the list of connectors press materialization and I'm going to create a new materialization instead of reusing an older one that I had here and I'm going to name this uh, Donny Iceberg Demo for example yeah but you can use any name you want here so uh, because this connector saves the data uh, that make up the iceberg tables themselves in S3 we will need some kind of credentials for AWS as well so let me just add those very quickly and the bucket we are going to use the S3 bucket is going to be this one for this demo and the bucket lives in US East 2 region so let's add that as well uh, and the name space is fairly arbitrary for this demo is going to be sales iceberg demo you can also configure the upload interval, which determines the frequency uh, of which your files get synchronized from Estuary Flow into Iceberg. So I'm going to set this to one minute for this demo. Uh, we are not going to use the REST connector or the REST catalog here. We'll stick with AWS Glue. But you, if you have a REST catalog, you are able to configure it as well here. So that all looks good. Let's press next. And the next step is going to be uh, configuring what collections we are actually going to materialize into Iceberg. As I mentioned earlier, we all only have this one sales table uh, in Postgres that we are looking to uh, load into our Iceberg tables and that is already uh, enabled, so it's all good. I can take a look at the schema of the collection to see if everything looks correct in terms of data types and uh, yeah, every everything seems fine. So the last step is to press save and publish. And after a few seconds, uh, Estuary Flow will provision the materialization connector. And the first step, first thing that it will do is take all the data that it has already ingested into Estuary Flow and load, load everything into Iceberg, which is what we call a backfill. So uh, as you can see, the connector creation was successful. Uh, which is great and I just need to move my camera a little bit so I can press close. All right, awesome. So in just a few seconds, the connector uh, will start actually replicating data from Estuary Flow into Iceberg. And let's see if I refresh, we'll see soon. As you can see here in the bottom right side, 
it is reading from that sales collection that we configured, which is good. That's what we want. And uh, let's see if another refresh, there we go. It has already started pushing data into Iceberg. So to demonstrate how you, in a real life setting, how you would be able to use this uh, Iceberg uh, table, I have a very small Python script here uh, prepared to, to showcase this. And uh, all it does is use the PyIceberg library uh, configured with a AWS Glue catalog to access the, the same table, uh, except the namespace is sales iceberg demo dot sales. And we are going to select the sale ID, customer ID, and the total price fields, convert the results into a pandas data frame, and just print the first few records of it. So if everything we did was correct and I run this script, we should be able to see uh, the first five records of uh, the iceberg table itself. As you can see, uh, it is what we get back here. Cool. Uh, well, that's it. Thank you so much for uh, bearing with me and uh, enjoying this tutorial. And if you have any questions, then uh, reach out in our community Slack or uh, send me a message anywhere on LinkedIn. Thank you.